We're sitting in Miami right now at the cruise terminal and we have an ex a special announcement. We are on Independence of the Seas. The group cruise that we are announcing is not on Independence no, of the Seas. I can already not. see people <laughs> questioning that based on the title. Oh, um, yeah. We're not doing a group cruise on Independence of the Seas. I'm going to flip my hat. Not like around. Independence. Indy's not a bad ship. No, I actually already love this ship. Um, you've been on this ship. Well, we've been on the ship one other time. Yeah. This was Jared's second cruise ever. And our Patreon members would have heard the podcast about that, being on that ship. Oh yeah, that's right, we yes, brought, from uh, the Cruise Diaries. We brought friends with us. It was a good time, it was a great time. So we will wait a few minutes until people get in here, and I know some people might be in the ads as well. But, uh, it looks like Joanne Shields is here. Hi Hello, Joanne. Joanne. Good to see ya. Happy see Saturday. You. Hello from Miami. Mo Boogie. Hey, JJ Cruz and crew. Hello hey, to Mo you, Mo Boogie. Boogie. Tony G in the house. Hello, Tony. What's up, Tony G? Joanne, we are on Independence of the Seas today. Yes. Independence of the Seas. So today started off on Enchantment of the Seas in Tampa, Florida. And we made the trek across the state and down south. Which we already did last week. So we went from our <laughs> Apex Group Cruise over to Tampa to get on Enchantment of the Seas. Back over to Miami today to get on Independence of the Seas. Where will you find us next week? Well, maybe later Somewhere this else. week. <laughs> maybe later this week because this cruise is only five nights. It's so. a five night cruise. It's got a couple of ports though. I think we're going to Falmouth, uh, Jamaica, as well as Grand Cayman. Yep. The plan is not to get off at either of those ports because we are here to experience Indy, Independence of the Seas fully, make sure that we get ship tour, room tours, and a full review of Independence of the Seas to bring to you all. Yes, we are here to get all the information about the ship that we possibly can. <laughs> so this is our research trip, our ship crawl of our April. Our ship crawl. Um, thank you so much to everyone that's already hit the thumbs yes, up. Yes, thank you First so much. First two minutes in, thank you so I much. I feel like it's been a minute since we've done it's been a, a live. Minute. Obviously we did a live with our crew on Apex. So that was our last public live, but we haven't done an Embarkation Day live since Sun Princess, I know, actually. we didn't do one on Enchantment of the Seas because we were 20 minutes from missing the cruise. There was a lot of traffic being spring break on uh, Interstate, what, I-75, I wanna say? Something uh, like that. Yeah, something like that. Yeah, there, there was, it was backed up. It took us so long to get there. We got there, we pulled up at like 2.40 for the cruise. <laughs> they closed the gangway at three. So we had 20 minutes. Today we did much better. We pulled up here at like an hour before, like uh, 1.50. Yeah, something like that. Uh, yeah. They closed the gangway at three o'clock. So we, we did, did a lot better. Way better coming here today. <laughs> we did start our day an hour earlier as well. Would we I recommend it to mistake. anyone else? Absolutely not. <laughs> <laughs> do not do same day from Tampa to Miami, Miami to Tampa. Uh, it is a stressful bit because you have to get everything right, especially if you have a rental car like us. We made it happen both weeks, but uh, let's just say we had some extra looking over as well. We're going to talk about our group cruise announcement here in a little bit. We're just waiting for some people to get in. Yes. We know that this is a surprise that no one knew that we are going live, uh, which is totally our bad. Uh, this is one of the things that we probably should have done a little bit better to let people know ahead Don't of time. Put yourself down I'm not like putting that. ourselves down, but... I'm apologizing to everyone at home because I know there's going to be people that in two hours are going to be like, I didn't know you were going live. It's okay. It was our bad, not yours. Sometimes you got to have that notification bell turned on. Um, Steven is here. Hello, Steven. Hello, Kelly. Hello, Michelle B. Um, hello to Larry and Lori and Marion. And hey, Jen Everson. Hey, guys. Thanks. Hey. Thanks, amazing travel agents. Thanks for all your help this week. Aww, our pleasure. Thank you, Jen. Thanks for booking with us. We always appreciate it when people book with us. Alan Levy says hello from Jewel of the Seas. Hello, hello, hello. to you. Where's Jewel at right now? I want to know. Uh, Alyssa Boyd says hi. Hello, Alyssa. Colleen says, I, oh, I'm never awake this early on a Sunday morning here in Australia. Oh. That is early in Australia. That is I'm like early. doing the math. I'm like, oh my gosh, is it? Is it's it like, like 7 a.m. there? Early. 6 a.m.? Oh, it's way earlier. Way earlier than that. that. It's like the middle is of the it? night. Let us know. Uh, Jane says, hi, guys. Excited about your moving hey. on a cruise ship. Yes, our next video about our move to a cruise ship is coming out tomorrow. So if you're interested, I know that people have been wanting more information, wanting to learn a little bit more about what we're doing. We've got one video dropping tomorrow about Villa V. I think it's a, uh, we did a little experiment and I think it's one of the most interesting videos that we've put out in a while. I agree. So I agree. You'll want to uh, join us for that tomorrow at 1230 Eastern time. It's that will all drop. about money. All about money. All about the money. We've had so many questions about how much it costs to live on a cruise ship. 
if it's more beneficial than living on land, we answer all of those questions, which is fantastic. Yes, finances. If you're interested in the financial part yes. of living on board a cruise ship, tomorrow's video will be for you. So yes. you'll want to check that out. Uh, well, hello, man. Hello, all. Hello to you. Good to hello, see you. Hello. Anastasia says hello from New Jersey. Hello, hello to you. Felicia Grande says, hey, JJ Cruz with hey, the pride Felicia. flag. Hello, Felicia. Lori Disselberg in the house. Hey, Lori. Sunshine415 says hi from Clearwater. Hello, hello. Maple Taffy Global in the house. Hey, hope all is well. Hello to Hopefully you. you are finally getting some rest after some long voyages. Lots of travel, yes. Uh, Heather Keller says, I love you guys. You give the best and most honest reviews. Before I book, I check you guys out oh, first. Thank, thank you, you so, so much, much I Heather. appreciate that. We really do appreciate that. Gina Dewey says, good morning, guys. It's raining in hi, Napa, Gina. California. Wish Lino and I were there with you guys we wish you were here with us as well we wish you were here too our listen our group cruises are never long enough we never get enough time with our crew which is why we do multiple per year yes so Absolutely. we can so we can get people together more than just once but Absolutely. it's so so good to hear from both of you yes also thank you again for everyone that gave a thumbs up i appreciate it already 30 thumbs up in the first few minutes we appreciate you it's like the number one easy thing to do besides subscribing to yes. help us get out to new audiences uh, Felicia Grande says, my wife and I are celebrating our five-year anniversary and a week on Carnival Celebration. Oh, congratulations. Oh, what a great ship to celebrate. Such a momentous yes. occasion. Congrats on five. Uh, five years is a long time, uh, especially because that's like going through all the stages, right? Newlywed to not newlywed, right? I think that's like such a difficult stage. We just celebrated our five years in January. Yes. Yes. So, which is, uh, yeah, time flies Absolutely. when you're having fun. Michelle B says, where are you today? And but again, we already said it, we're not going to get off the ship probably once, because we are here to film the ship. That is we why are. we are here. Uh, hello to John Eby. Hello, John. Hi, John. Good to have you here. Sunshine says, yes, it is. Miami is huge. Oh, we just went. If, okay, here's a warning signal. Wi-Fi, we are leaving. Usually during sail away, there's a little Wi-Fi, you know, abrupt, you know, connection issues. If we go out, we know it. So do not worry, stay tuned, maybe refresh in the top. We'll be back within a few seconds, if not a minute at most. Yes. Just so you know, because it could go out every once in a while, we'll be right back and we know it. Uh, and we know how to reconnect, so don't worry. Um, let's see, and our Broadway cruise that we're doing. Yes. And it is gonna be a good time. Oh my gosh, so good. It's be uh, fun. Speaking of group cruises, group cruises, we are gonna be announcing our next group cruise and it is huge. It is a brand new. Huge. It is a brand new cruise line for us. You're gonna. Oh, for I was gonna cruise. say you're gonna. You're gonna make people think it's Icon of the Sea. Oh no no, it's not huge in that way. It's huge as in, well, what do you want to say? It's a big deal that we're doing that we're branching out. Yeah. How about we we put it that way? Let's we have a lot of way. Royal Caribbean celebrity. Let's just say this may be a little different. This one will be a little different. And it'll be multifaceted because the theme night's already built in. True. Uh, Midwest Katie in the house. Hello, Midwest Katie. Hey, Midwest Katie. Uh, John says it was our luck. Chris says, hi, guys, everyone. Hello to you, Chris and Jim. And Nikki W in the house. Hey, hey, hey. Paul from Toronto. Hi, Paul. Audrey says, hi. Hello, everybody. Um, and we just got our first super oh, sticker. Oh, my goodness, from Jen Everson. Oh, Jen. Thank you, Jen. Thank you so much. All right, I'm going to get up. Can you uh, film me doing it? Where would you like to go? I'm going to do it right in front of this beautiful Miami skyline. Oh, right in front of the beautiful. So we are sitting up here in the Diamond Lounge. Oops, I'm going to turn it back around. The Diamond Lounge, which is now called the Crown Lounge. Um, but this is one of the only diamond lounges for Royal that has an outdoor section. And that is one of our reasons that we love it. All right, Jen, this is for you. <laughs> is that both of them? I think it was both of them. I think you got both of them. And, oh, and you I get a beautiful, oh. And you get a beautiful view of the skyline know, in the I background. Thank, Thank you so you. much, Jen. You can um, see that um, there's, you know, it would have been great to do it on the trampoline, but that is a trampoline behind and us. Nothing to worry you, but there's a reason why Jordan's not doing it today. Just trust us. There's a reason. <laughs> uh, and I know you'll appreciate it. He's just a little weird. Nothing too serious by any means. So that's no, why he's not going to do that. Getting older <laughs> is, um, it is. You know what it I mean? Is. It is. It is. Um, so thank you so much, Jen. We thank you very much, it. Jen. And there is a super sticker coming in from Maple, Maple Taffy, Taffy Global with the sunglasses. This is what I can do. Okay. Thank I you so this. much for that. I don't that. know. 
Thank you so much, Maple Taffy Global. If you don't know, if you're brand new to the channel, haven't seen a live before, we reenact the super stickers. So if you send one our way, we'll reenact it for you. Well, at least I will today. Usually it's both of us after a certain amount. So, um, Epic Games TV says, hi guys. Hey, hey, Epic Games TV, what is up? Uh, also, we have Mercy Rodriguez from Beyond. <laughs> Hello, I hope you're having a wonderful time up Beyond. Uh, Colleen says it's nearly 6 a.m. up I was close, 7 a.m. You, you were close. You I was were closer close. than I thought. Um, let's see, Nikki says good morning to you in Australia. So that's so nice. I love it. I love us Americans saying hi to the Australians, the Aussies. Usually some Brits are on the channel as well. We have got a question from Epic Games TV. I need hotel advice for Hawaii. Any favorites? So when Ooh. we went to Hawaii, we stayed at the Hilton Waikiki Village. We were mixed on it. Um, it's very expensive. The room was... was <laughs> what is it? The, yeah, no, it's also expensive. The room was dated. It was clean, but it was dated. We had a beautiful view. Yes, the view was gorgeous. The view was amazing. Um, but and it was it close was, to things. It was overall. like, on average, about five hundred dollars a night. It's so hard. Would I stay at the Hilton Waikiki Village again? Yes. If you could find something a little bit cheaper, I might look like seek out yeah. something that's cheaper. Um, I will say the Waikiki area is a very safe area in general to stay. Um, so if you're looking for something safe and clean and walk with them walking distance to so many things Waikiki is like the place to well and Epic Games TV. What about Alani? <laughs> Alani is one of the top ones. We know that for a fact because we have people that have gone there. They're close to us I will say we've and we've had clients go there and, yes. and Alani delivers every time people yes. say it's phenomenal so if you can if fit that in your budget Alani is supposedly amazing we it's still on our list to do it some point. all right we're going to say hi to some more people but this is the time where i, well, I got to say to everyone if you have any questions put an all caps question and then put your question after the all caps question so we can get to as many questions we won't be able to say hi to everyone because there's just so many amazing jj crew here that we just can't say hi to everyone but we're going to try to say some quick rapid fire of yes. eyes uh yes. starting with uh right here douglas hello hi, douglas. douglas lloyd in the house from spain Hi, Thanks Lloyd. for joining us for Spain. We love Thanks Spain. so much to joy for That's joining fine, us. Yeah. It's good to see you in here. Yes, uh, Alice. Hi, Arndt Alice. In here, Alice. It's good to see you as James well. James Howard and Retail Traders. Hello, guys. Hello, hello. Oh, and we have a super sticker from Don McLaughlin. Oh my gosh, I love this one. Thank Ready? you so much. I can do Don. this right here. It's like. <laughs> you see my feet? They're up here. <laughs> Did you see them? I can't believe you put your feet up there. 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 Get your feet off the table. That's gross. It's not on the table. Um, the thank you so much, Dark. Thank for you that so super much. Sticker. We appreciate it. Um, Lisa Chauvin in the house from Southwest Florida. So close to us. Yes, and uh, Danette is here. Hello to you. Um, looks like Tracy is here. From Don Wisconsin. And Don says the drinks look delicious. Love you both. Thank you so much. I'm drinking a margarita, and you're drinking a Zacapa and Diet Okay, Coke. And, and I, I just took out the lime. I don't know if you saw that. I can't do a lime in my higher end rum drinks. Oh know? my gosh. All right, speaking of higher end, I made a rookie mistake. Whenever you are whenever you are on a cruise ship, you don't just ask for the drink. You ask spe for specific liquor to go in the drink. I like ordered a margarita and then I watched him make it with the well like rail liquor that of course is going to give you a headache. You know the one that doesn't when, have a like, name. When like I could have said, "Could I have a margarita with Patron?" and it still would have been the same Diamond drink. We use our yeah, diamond yeah, yeah. drinks. These are diamond drinks. We don't have a drink package, but we do have diamond drinks. We do drinks. have some diamond drinks. Um, hello to Tracy. Thanks so much for joining us. Yes. Life with the Thomas crew is here. We loved Independence of the Seas. Uh, yes. We it's loved a great it the last ship. time we were here, too. This class is a good like intro to Oasis class, honestly. Yes. Like, it is a good class for that. But full um, review coming later. MH Family Adventures. Hello, hello. Hey, hello. Shoshana says we're headed to the new Disney Private Island Lighthouse Point. Ooh. When is your next Disney Cruise Line? So we do not know when we're going to be on Disney again, but we have been talking about it, haven't we? We have. Disney's been in our uh, conversations a lot lately. So we have a few ships through. we need to still do, and of course, if uh, you know Disney Treasure comes out for any reason with some better rates for us, oh, we yeah. will Disney, definitely jump on that. Disney Treasure is what we're trying to get on next yeah, year, but next we'll year. see. Uh, Sherry says hi. Hello, Sherry. Hi, Christine Sherry. in the house. Wild 1995, not broadcasting from a hot tub. Not today. You know what? That is something for the Patreon community too. We have we usually try to do one once a month, and if we can, we do it from the hot tub. If so possible. That is something that not saying we won't ever do one here, 
but that is something that we try to do if possible. We did one on Icon. We did do one Patreon. on Icon. We did. Um, hello to Donna. Hello, hello. And Dana, we are here in the Port of Miami on Independence of the Seas. Yes, Evelyn Torres from Celebrity Beyond. Thanks for your upcoming cruise, or for your help with the upcoming cruise. Yes, no, I wanted to, yeah, she said thanks for your help for the upcoming cruise on Celebrity Beyond. Evelyn, I'm so excited for you guys to experience the Beyond. Um, I hope that you're gonna love it. I, I have yet to have people go down the Beyond that hated the ship. You know, most people just love it, love the entertainment. Absolutely. So I hope you have a wonderful time. Um, Jin Cohen says, thanks for helping me book Celebrity XL, Jared. Can't wait to sail yeah. with you guys. We cannot wait to have you as well. Speaking of group cruises, that's another one that we have on Celebrity. Celebrity XL, only a month, maybe a little bit less, then she comes out. So I know she's on her maiden voyage in November. We're going December. And so if you want to join for Celebrity Excel or Symphony of the Seas for Royal Caribbean, you can go ahead and email us, fill the booking request form, and just let us know that's what you're looking for. We'll get you some prices, some rates. Yes. Joan says, hello from New Hampshire. Hello, hello. Dennis says, I'll be on that ship in two weeks. It's a charter cruise. Ooh. Well, we should have our full ship tour out before that. So hopefully you'll get a little sneak peek of the, of the ship. Trace is OJ, I love that. Uh, John Evie says, getting older is a privilege. Truly. That's right, that is true. true. Uh, Joan says, sailing from uh, sailing on Norwegian Gym next Friday. That's exciting. That is exciting. Uh, Chris says, just wait until you hit 53 or almost 57. <laughs> Not that far off. <laughs> <laughs> Michelle B says, we like the Outrigger Reef in Waikiki. Oh, there you go. There's an idea there for you. Florida Cruisers in the house. Hi, Florida Cruisers. What is up? It's good to see you good in here. Good to see you. And uh, Dina Strakota uh, says, hi from Minnesota. Oh my goodness, Strakota, Minnesota. I know I'm not even sure if I'm saying your last name right, but I love it. Um, one <laughs> week from today, I'll be boarding Valiant Lady. Can't wait. Oh my gosh. That sounds so like a fun, fun. ship. Uh, Nikki says, yep, yeah, we got to call the booze you want. Yes, yep. you do. Don says, I love it. And then Epic Games says, Alani is expensive. Oh, we know. Uh, we are considering Waikiki Beach Marriott Resort and Spa further down from the village. Village just looked too busy. Uh, 509 is about the same as Marriott. Thanks for the info. Happy to help. Alani is so expensive that as travel agents, we get travel agent rates to go, and the travel agent rates aren't even in our budget. <laughs> so that just says, that just tells you it's how expensive it actually is. Oh my um, gosh, thank you so much. Over almost 70 people give a thumbs up. If we can get to 100, you. we're gonna tell our group cruise announcement next. Oh, so you're gonna hold that. Yep. All right, 100 likes. Once we get 100 thumbs up, we will go to our group cruise announcement. 100 so. likes, and then the group cruise announcement comes. So we're, we're really excited to talk about this group cruise. I'm so stoked. There's a couple of reasons that it may end up being my favorite group cruise ever. Yeah. One in particular, so I'm excited about it. Um, Stephen Hunt, hello from Muskoka. Hi, Stephen. Ontario in Canada. We love Ontario. Um, obviously, Toronto uh, is one of our favorite. One of our favorite places. Places to visit by land. We love it. Um, so, hello. hello, Lynn Benefield in the house from Kentucky. Hello to you. Uh, Corinne Gons uh, says I go on Independence on May 18th. Ooh, so soon. So that is so soon. I would say Independence is doing shorter cruises, so there's a lot of them. Um, it we'll seems definitely like... get the ship tour out before that. Oh, yes. No, we, we should be getting it out in the next week or so. <laughs> Heather Lawson in the house. Looking good, Hi, guys. Heather. Glad you made it and great to catch you live. Safe travels. Good to see you. It's been a home for you in the past. However, I know Virgin's another home as well. Uh, Wallace says, hi, and happy to be here from Reno, Nevada. Hi, Arlene. Hello, hello. Um, slowing down. I see on my side that it's a little bit broken up. If that happens, just maybe press the refresh or pause it and then press play after five seconds. Sometimes it goes better, sometimes not. Just give an idea. If you are 11 that. likes away from this announcement. Oh my gosh, so close. Uh, Wild Woman says, I do miss Hot Tub Sail Away. Ooh. And they are packed today. I will tell the you hot this. Hot tubs are packed. People are ready. Kat says, looking handsome as always. Thank you, Kat. Aw, thank you. Heather Kelly says, I'll be sailing Celebrity Eclipse June 2nd. We I just watched your review on that ship. Oh, the Eclipse is such a wonderful ship. We love that ship. Special place in our heart, because that's where we went to Australia and New Zealand for the first time, and first Trans-Pacific cruise. We have so many good memories from that cruise, and there's just like something about that ship that's very nostalgic, because it was such a wonderful cruise. We met amazing people. We had a great time. Nikki W says, question, and this is the perfect way to do a question, so thank you, Nikki. Are you able to help book a group rate at hotels? So we are, but there has to be a minimum of 10 rooms. We've always been hesitant to do it for group cruises because we know people, you know, have their very particular, like <laughs> they have to stay at their Hilton, they have to stay at, you know, Marriott, whatever it may be for their points. 
So we've been hesitant because if you do not uh, people that are guaranteed to, to get into that block. Good answer. Um, that's the reason we haven't done it yet. But like Hawaii, for example, for, Hawaii, for our Hawaii group that. cruise, that's the other group cruise we haven't talked about yet on the channel uh, recently, but that's another option. If you want to go to Hawaii next year, we are taking a group cruise out there and the rates are actually still really good that we have. The rates um, are great. So if you're interested, let us know. That could be another cruise. That's there's like 70 people already booked for that cruise. Yes. Uh, and it just keeps growing every day. And we day. sail from Honolulu to Canada. So, I mean, from, from a great set of islands to an amazing country. Absolutely. Um, Marsha Knight says, hello from Connecticut. Hello. Hello. Uh, and the cat says, are you able to rent DVC points for Alani like how you can at D uh, Disney World DVC Resorts? That's a good question. I would assume you could. DC, uh, DVC points. Yeah. Uh, Nikki W says, that's exactly why I asked. For the Hawaii group cruise. Oh, there you go. Perfect. I we think we're two away from announcing. Wonder for any of you that joined, I know why they can come in and out as we are sailing away very shortly. So if it does bubble up for you, know that we are right back. We know when it goes out. Just hit the refresh, maybe pause it, and then restart it. It should be a little bit better. Uh, and we are one away, so I'll keep going. Lee Graham. Hello from Texas. Hello, hello. We love Texas. Epic Games TV says, when is the Hawaii group cruise? Was it the same time as us? We sell April 28, 2025. So it's, no. it's a little bit after you. It's a couple weeks after that. Just after it. And then Sean yeah. Bates says, I'm a DVC member and yet me member. And yes, you can rent points for Alani. That's what I thought. Good to know. And Thank we you. did it. Thank you all for the thumbs up. Uh, who is number 100? I want to know in the comments, the chats, if you are number 100. Looks like we have a little bit over that now. Uh, and hello to Jason from Las Vegas, one of our favorite hello. cities. We in the country. love Las Vegas. Okay. Oh, the time's so, here. I gotta turn my hat around. The time is here. My, my, one of my favorite hats from Talon, Estonia. <laughs> casual. Just this casual. is my favorite hat from Palm, Palm Springs. Springs. Um, but I'm gonna flip it back. Okay. So, uh, hello from Atlanta, Georgia. Hello, hello. Hello. Okay, you go ahead. Okay, you, I'll, you I'll, start... I'll turn it back around just so that people can see most of my face. Start by whatever you want to say. All right. This cruise was hard fought for by so many JJ crew. In fact, we have been looking at this cruise itinerary and this cruise line for a while now. A while. Now, even though this cruise line's not new for us, it is new for a lot of people that have sailed with us on a group cruise before. And they've been waiting for us to go on it so we all can try it together. Now, this ship is new for us. It is, but it's been said in this live someone said they were going on this ship in a couple of weeks or we're going to tell you what it is and then we're going to explain several things so if you're interested in doing this group with cruise with us now would be the time to turn up your television on i know that my my voice can be annoying unmute me so you can hear me now <laughs> please um so we will be Without doing the mute button. <laughs> a, oh i know listen the mute button i know it happens i know it happens i have my own personal mute button every once in a while we will be doing a Halloween group cruise, which that is makes me very excited because He's spooky. I love spooky season. I love Halloween. <laughs> so we'll be doing Halloween together with the JJ crew in October 2025 on what ship? On Valiant Lady. Yes, we're going on Virgin Voyages for our first group cruise on Virgin okay. Voyages on Valiant Lady. <laughs> I'm really so excited. excited. You got really excited. Well, this is the thing. We have been waiting for this moment, and so we're so stoked. Uh, you may have already seen it, you may have not, but it's in the description. We have some things that we want to make sure it's clear before you fill out the form, because we know so many of you are probably going to rush that form, fill it out, and be like, oh, I forgot this. First and foremost, fill it out completely. If yes. you're going to book this cruise, you need to fill it out completely. Here's the big thing. If you're going to fill out the form, just know you got to be ready to pay the deposit. Why? Virgin's very different from a lot of these other group programs. What they do is they send you an email. Once Jordan fills out your information and puts a reservation together, they will send you an email and you have to pay that non-refundable deposit within 24 hours. Yes. So what happens is you fill out the registration form. You wait a few days because we will be uh, starting our bookings back up again on Monday. So Monday would be the earliest you would hear from us but you're gonna get a Virgin email. That sounded funny. Yeah. An email from Virgin Voyages. 
with a link in it. You're gonna click that link, you're going to pay your deposit. It is non-refundable, but it is transferable. And then after that, sometime later, a few weeks later, you'll get an actual invoice from myself. So I will be booking this. We are so excited. Here's the great part. We have solo rooms. So for solo travelers, we know we have a lot of solo travelers that come on our group cruises. We have rooms for you with incredible rates. Incredible. Now let's talk a little bit about the itinerary. Yes. We are doing something that we, that we said we weren't gonna do. <laughs> We're doing a shorter group cruise and that is to keep it affordable. We looked at doing a longer seven or eight night Virgin cruise and the price was, was gonna be over $5,000 for most double occupancy staterooms. And we just could not do it. We couldn't do it to everyone. We know that finances are tight for a lot of people. We know that people wanna travel more and spend less. So we took the route of finding something a little bit more affordable. So it's four nights. Where does it go? Yes, we are sailing out of the same ports of today, Port of Miami, and we're going to two of our favorite places to go on these shorter itineraries. That is Key West. Yes, we were just there two weeks ago on our other group cruise on Celebrity Apex. Love Key West, has so much to offer, and yes, we are there on Halloween. You can only imagine what, what is Key West there is gonna be like on, on Halloween. Key West for Halloween. We'll be doing a, a group uh, excursion together. Yes. Yep. We'll be going on a group excursion in Key West and then we're going to Bimini, Bimini Beach Club for, you know, Virgin Voyages true outdoor party at their private resorts and is gonna be a blast for the ages. Since it's four nights, there is gonna be that one sea day as well in there. And we're gonna come back to Miami for that last day. So it's gonna be so exciting because on top of these rates, you do get onboard credit, which is called Sailor Loop for Virgin. So you get a $50 uh, onboard credit or Sailor Loop for any inside room, including solos. So if you're going by yourself, you still get the same amount of Sailor Loop or a $100 Sailor Loop for the Central Sea Terraces. And yes, we made sure to reserve only Central Sea Terraces because we want what's best for the JJ crew. Yes. Um, also, I just want to thank Liz for being number 100. Yes. Thank you so much, Liz, number for being 100. the 100 thumbs up. Um, and this question we've been getting so much, no, we will not be doing clothing optional yoga on Virgin. <laughs> so that question keeps coming up. I don't know what y'all are looking for, what type of cruise you want to go on, but that's Wait, not the on, JJ cruise, on, cruise, cruise. That is not going to be a group activity. <laughs> you can do whatever you want. This is your cruise. And here's the thing, I will say, we get this all the time. What is a JJ group cruise all about? It's all about what you want it to be. It is your cruise first. Some people join our cruises and they see us at the, the beginning of the cruise and at the end and that's it because they just want the really good rates. Yes, that's Other true. people come on and do everything. And then there's people in between. Also, like Jordan said, we know about half of the people that come on our group cruises are solo travelers. It is the best place to get an immediate family, an immediate, immediate friend group to sail with. And so that's why we grabbed those solo rooms. That being said, we were giving this out to everyone that was on our last group cruise as well as Patreon this past week. So I was gonna say, Amy Brock says, me too, Jordan, I love spooky season. And then she also said, I got a central seat terrace on lucky deck number 13 for Halloween. Yes, if so our Patreon community already had access to book this as well as our last group cruise peeps. So if anyone from either of those buckets Booked to Central Sea Terrace today. You got moved to deck number 13. We did and it on purpose. We did it on purpose <laughs> since it was a Halloween group cruise. So that'll be really fun. Kat just says, yay, check my email. Just got my link to pay yes. the deposit. And Jason said midship, exactly. Yes, the Sea Terraces, we did only Central Sea Terrace, which means it is midship. Uh, we love that because obviously, you don't have to worry about any rockiness. If you're someone that's prone to seasickness, you're in the best position you can be possibly on any cruise ship. Yep. And Amy says lots of great things included with Virgin, like tips and Wi-Fi. That is so true. I love that you put that in there because I think that's something people don't know. The fact that your tooties are already included, your specialty dining is already included, the fact that you get sodas already included, like a lot of these things are already included. The only thing that's not included per se that people love are bar drinks, right? Now there is a special going on and as long as it's continuing on for a while, you can have that option. Bar tab, you can buy a bar tab for $300 and get an extra $50. So that's another option if you're someone that wants to have 
kind of an all included drink package. Okay, as well. we got a super chat with a super sticker yes. um, that came through with a question yes. from Douglas. So here is Douglas' question. Thank you very much for sending in the super sticker. <laughs> um, and to answer your question, he says, Hello, gentlemen, big, sweet class celebrity fans. Am I going to be okay on Sun Princess for Thanksgiving? I feel like I'm cheating on celebrity, but I want to try Princess. Thoughts? Ooh, good question. So, first of all, when's the timing Thanksgiving. for Thanksgiving? So yes. that'll be in the Caribbean. From our knowledge, and we did get a little bit of background detail on when shows should be ready, all shows should be ready by that time. That's number one, right? Because we didn't get that full experience like we wanted. Number two being the sweets. Uh, it depends on what sweet class you are going for Sun Princess. We did check out some of them, and certain ones were like stunning to Stunningly us. beautiful, yeah. Um, others were a little bit more like a traditional veranda room, just had some upgrade amenities. So I would say just reach out. That would be the mini suites. Those would the be mostly suites. the mini suites. So I think overall you will be happy that you tried, and I think you'll be happy you tried Sun Princess over some of the other older ones, just because it is what's new and what's upcoming I was gonna Princess. say, Sun Princess, it's a beautiful ship. The shows look like they're gonna be really cool. Yes. Um, the food was really good. The drinks were phenomenal. Obviously, if you watched our reviews, we talked about the drinks so much on that ship. So I think you'll be fine. I think it'll be a different experience. You will appreciate having a different experience. Is it like anything like the Celebrity Edge class? No, it's not. It's, it's very much, more like traditional cruising. Your experience will be that of more like the Solstice class than I would say. I would say Solstice mixed with um, the newer class of ship for Carnival. And I don't mean that as in like a diss in any way. I mean that in a positive. That they're larger ships, they have a very uh, similar uh, central area yes. that's beautiful with glass windows, a lot of glass all over the ship. Um, it is a true mix of a lot of ships out there, but what we found is it wasn't the same as the Celebrity Edge class, which we thought it would be most similar to, and it wasn't. So that's, I think, what George Also, said. we um, met both of the cruise directors that will be there for this year. Um, the one, they're, they're switching on and off, but they were both there the week that we were there, and they're both really awesome. They're both great. We both really, we like the cruise Corinne directors. I think it's Corinne and Jason. Corinne and Jason, yeah. yep. Yeah, all right, so. Um, and we have to say cheers for yes. the super sticker. Cheers. Thank you so much. Wait, he's doing a little head mount with it too. <laughs> Thank you so much, Thank Douglas. You. I think you'll have a great cruise, and I mean that. I really do. Uh, Tony G said, I think Don drank his year's worth of alcohol with you guys. You know what? I have to comment on this. <laughs> Don was making us drink. He, not making, not making, not in a bad way, but he was the one that's like, what bar are we going to next? He was very, very much so into it, and we appreciated every moment with Don because it was so much fun. We, yeah, yeah, he wasn't forcing drinks down us, no. but he was up for the party. Yes. Let's just say that, yes. and, and we had we had so much fun. I, we were so glad that Don was there. Absolutely, um, he was our BFF on the Sun Princess, and I will forever think of Don when we are on Princess now. Oh, absolutely, moving forward. All right, I have to go for sail away and just look over the side oh, and show it to you. Oh wow. All right, I'm going over. Jordan's going to be right here looking at the comments and be ready for that. But I have to show you where we're going past. We are going past Carnival Horizon, which is oddly enough, the next episode of Cruise Diaries for our Patreon members. Uh, Carnival Horizon was the first Carnival ship that we tried out once the restart happened. So this is a very special cruise ship for us because this is the ship that we really got to start it all back with. So look at all the people waving over there. They're not leaving yet, but they're gonna. And yes, we came from a different terminal, if you notice, than what usually uh, Royal goes out of. We were out of Terminal G instead of Terminal A. And what is the reason for that? Well, Icon of the Seas is here today. So yes, I don't know if Icon has already left or not, but we will probably see Icon of the Seas. So we will see Icon of the Seas, the world's largest cruise ship, the world's biggest cruise ship. Uh, on this sail away as well. But look at all the people. That sail away party is happening. Hello. They're waving back. I don't know if you can see, but they are waving back. Oh, I heard a whistle. There's a whistle over there. And they're turning back around. 
uh, to look at their sail away party dance party because they're probably following us out. Um, Andrew Scrum Six, glad you're having a good time. We are having a blast. Uh, we were just on Enchantment of the Seas before we moved over here to Independence of the Seas. So Enchantment of the Seas, we have our room tour, our ship tour out, and our review is coming out soon. Currently, we are Independence of the Seas, Jason, from Royal Caribbean out of the Port of Miami. And this is not the end of our Royal Caribbean journey this month, so stay tuned. Uh, but today, for the sailway, it looks like we have a while before the next ship. So I will return to the table for a little bit, give you a last look at Carnival Horizon with Miami background in the back. There's the Diamond Lounge here. Yes, we are in the kind of private area here on the Diamond Lounge. Uh, I think it's called Crown Lounge now, is that right? That is the new, the new uh, our papers today in our, in our room, it said the Crown Lounge, formerly known as Diamond Lounge. So is Icon gone already? I don't know. Well, we aren't I'm there so yet. We aren't to Terminal A yet. On our schedule, it said we were going to sail away at 6. Oh, On the really? port schedule, yeah. Oh, wow. So I was shocked. I didn't think we were going to move. And here we are. We're moving. We're, we're moving. We left. Okay. Someone asked a great question. First off, hi to a couple other people. Hello to Melissa. We didn't hi, say hi Melissa. to you. We didn't say hi yet to Nancy. Hello, hi, Nancy. Hi, Nancy. Um, and Lori, thank you for asking this question. I don't know if you already got to her question. No, no, no I didn't. But, oh, my goodness. Um, I'm so sorry. In the description of this video, you will find details. Theme nights. And if you can't get the description, I'm going to get it up and put it in the chats as well. But yes, go ahead. Find pricing. I'll find the link for registration. Now, we do ask that you fill out that registration form if you are ready to book. Because yes. once you fill that registration form out, we grab a room and then you have 24 hours to pay your deposit. So it's something just to keep in mind. This is very different. A lot of other cruise lines give you 30 days to pay your deposit. Virgin gives you 24 hours. So it is vital that you're ready to go. When you fill out that link, you are ready to go on the Virgin Cruise with us. And I think you just should do it. Don't you? Oh, absolutely. <laughs> I mean, you'll see, but do you have the rates here? I'll, I'll pull it up. The rates I are in the description. Um, oops, I am trying to put it in here. It's not going here. One second, y'all. There we go. There you go. There's the link. Oh, did it go? There it goes. Okay. So for the rates, I'm just gonna bring it up here real quick. And uh, this is how good the rates are. And this is why we're doing what we're doing. Oh, we're saying hi to somebody. I have a feeling it's Icon of the Sea. It's not. No? Nope, it looks like it's MSC. I think MSC Seaside oh. is here. We'll go show it to you in a second here. The rates, Central Sea Terrace, double occupancy, $2,800 for the entire cabin. That includes your gratuities, that includes uh, uh, everything from uh, your sodas to the fact that you have your specialty dining, obviously your cabin for two people, that's all included there, uh, $2,800. Insider, this is double occupancy, $2,316 for the entire cabin once again, includes tax support fees, all of that. Solo Insider, $1,476. It's a yes. great price for a solo traveler. Um, and it's amazing that it is literally half the price. You're not paying double occupancy, you're just paying for one. It's amazing. Are All right, you, I'm going. Back. Okay. All right, I'm coming around. Oops. There we go. I got to show you this beautiful ship because MSC Seascape, sorry, I said Seaside, Seascape is here. And look how beautiful of a ship she is. You know, we haven't done MSC ourselves yet, but we have so many people that love the newer class of MSC. They also love the Yacht Club. We have sent so many clients in the Yacht Club that have come from Yacht Club and some new clients to Yacht Club. And so many people are so impressed with the white glove service that Yacht Club has to offer for MSC. So very, very intriguing um, to go on our first MSC cruise. Probably not till next year, but who knows? There might be one in our future this year as well. That is once again, Seascape. MSC Seascape. I do love a white and blue. You know, I'm not cheating on my celebrity by any means, but I do love some white and blue. Lots and lots of balcony cabins. I don't know if you notice this, but it's pretty much every deck there is a veranda. And that is not always normal for every ship. You know, sometimes they have some of those more portholes higher up, but it is packed full. Very, very cool. 
um, and Norwegian Cruise Lines terminal is empty. So whatever ship was there has left before us, if there was one earlier today. That's MSC. That's funny. That's a train honk. Um, anyways, all right, back to what we're talking about. And I'm going to come back and join Jordan here. You can see behind us as well. There's the whole playscape out there. People saying hello to MSC. Uh, we're coming up on Icon. Oh, Icon's coming soon. All right, I'll get up again. <laughs> Jared's getting his exercise in today. I'm that's for there. sure. Um, so stay tuned. Icon is coming up in just a few minutes. And we love Icon of the Seas. Felix, we totally understand. So just so you all know, I know because Felix put four nights is not enough to fly out. We totally get that. But in 2025, we have a seven night cruise, a nine night cruise, yes. and now a four night cruise. That's why so we had to do it. Yeah, we're trying to do some varying time lengths here for the different. Our first Virgin Voyage is cruise. Four nights was plenty. Four, four nights, nights felt enough. like a seven night cruise. On Virgin Voyages, it's very different. It's very Vegas-y. You know, a lot of people don't go to Vegas for a week. They go for a weekend. Yeah. Why is that? Because it feels, we have great rates the week after or the week before also has great rates. So you can make it into Oops. your own full week-long cruise if you'd like to. These are the best. Just book. <laughs> yes, absolutely. Thank you so much, Melissa. Um, hello to Jill from Connecticut. Hello, hello. hello. Nikki says they also match loyalty status. If that they is do. true. They that certainly they do. do. At least for now. Jason, so get in while you can. Jason asked a question. Does the price include trip insurance? It does not. So no. that's the one thing that is not included. Voyage protection is extra, uh, but all, a lot of the other stuff is included. All right. Mike. Oh, it's oh, you're time. Over there. All right. All right. I'm going to go ahead and get y'all just a peek here. Oh, we miss her so much. Here, let me see if I can see through the glass over here. So, as you can see, Icon of the Seas is so big that it's hard to even get her in the entire frame here. I don't even know. I can't even zoom out far enough to get her in. Uh, this is the world's biggest cruise ship, if you don't know. Uh, I feel like you'd have to be living a little bit under a rock to not know that at this point, but that's okay. We're here for education of any cruise topic. Icon of the Seas we were on in January. We have a full ship tour. We have a lot of different reviews of Icon of the Seas. Is it worth it? Uh, she is a pricey lady. Let's just say that she is not the most affordable cruise you can go on. But is she the best cruise you can go on? Well, that is to vacation. We went out there for just a second. I think we're back now. It's because we're going against Icon of the Seas. She's huge. I think that's uh, the main reason here. So, it won't our satellite signal. I mean, that has to be it. She's just that big. All right, so as you can see, there's the dome that everyone talked about, the Aqua Dome. The Aqua Dome is huge, but it's also really cool. Not just where you would imagine it being cool, like the actual, uh, you know, shows in the Aqua Dome, but also for the actual space in front. So I'm gonna show it to you right here, the space in front here right there is gorgeous it almost is like a pandora avatar theme and it's beautiful it's one of our favorites icon of seas definitely can't be missed if you love cruising because it is one of the best ships that has ever been created i know star of the seas the world the next world's largest cruise ship coming out next year is also sailing from port canaveral uh in 2025 so we are so excited we haven't booked it yet but maybe we will and there's some developments happening here for the new terminal. The future of cruising starts here for MSC. All right, I'm gonna head back to join, just giving you a final look. Icon of Seas, incredible. Oh, I love, I love, love, love cruising. How can you not love cruising when you have some amazing ships like Icon of the Seas? Or Valiant Lady, which we are gonna be going on for a group cruise. <laughs> All right, okay. so. Um, got some questions, got, got some, some comments. Questions. We got a super sticker here from oh, Andrea. Nice. Andrea, thank you so oh, much. Gosh. Ready? Celebrating her 10th super sticker oh, on live that. stream with a 10 and a thumbs up. Thank you so much, Andrea. Thank you for that. Thank you, Andrea. We appreciate appreciate it. that. Um, okay, so Michael McCabe said he will be on Independence next summer in Europe. 
for oh. a 50th birthday. Yes, this ship for the first time is going to be porting out of Southampton. A fantastic ship for any type of med or European cruise. And people keep wondering, is it better than Anthem? And I keep telling them it's different. It is different. Anthem doesn't have an ice skating rink. It so is like very you're going to have a very different type of ship for Royal Caribbean there out of the UK. Yeah, a different nice. Broadway show too. I know that Anthem has their own Broadway-esque show. This one, it's great. So, you know, you have different types of shows for different ships and uh, something else to be excited about. All right, we are back. We know it's gonna go in and out just because we're going out of these ports. Another reason, we're going by these ships that also have Wi-Fi and satellite signal. And as you can imagine, Icon has way more receptors than we do here, so. Uh, on a Virgin Voyage is with us, you would find your level of hang. There's <laughs> yes. enough people that show up and come that you would find the people that would hang just the right amount with you. Yes. That's what I would say. We have people of all ages, all types, um, that come on our group cruises. Absolutely. Um, and it's always a really good time. Yes. Um, Nikki says, still can't believe how massive the icon is. Quentin says, hello from Pennsylvania. Hello, hello. Quentin. Um, okay, here's a question from Tony G. How does the Princess Dome compare to the Icon Dome? Ooh, good question. They don't. <laughs> well, <laughs> they're just so different. They're so use different. And functionality. You can't swim in the Icon's Dome, right? The Aqua Dome has a pool, but it's not for guests, right? It's only for performance purposes. Whereas Sun Princess has an inside and outside pool that is used all the time. And I thought when I went into the, the Princess Dome, it was a lot smaller than the Icon Dome. I think it is smaller, but I don't think it's as small as I thought it was. Right. Um, I, I still think their icon's a little bit bigger, but they're just so different. They have different purposes. They have different looks. The, the dome on uh, Sun Princess also doesn't encompass everything. Aquadome encompasses everything in the Aquadome is all inside it, including seating areas, bars, lounges, restaurants. Whereas the dome on Sun Princess, that does not happen. You have some inside, you have some outside, you have some bars that are towards the back of it's a, the dome. It's a day club, night club yeah. situation yeah. Uh, on the Sun Princess, which I, I love the vibe. They I both love that. are very unique and different from each other, even though they're still both domes. Jason wants to know if we have any excursions planned for this Virgin Cruise. We will be doing one at Key West. It is not announced yet. It's only for those that book. Uh, one thing to note, we haven't said it yet, but I think it's obvious at this point. We only are able to have group activities and group anything for those that book with us. So if you're out there and you're like, you know what, I want to join in on this. I'm going to go book on my own. No, 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 not allowed. I say that because we always have someone later that's like, hey, I'm going to be on that cruise, so I'm just going to join you in everything you're doing. Unfortunately, that's not how it works for group cruises. You do have to be a part of our group block. Our circle is what it's called. I know it's like a... What is that called on uh, Netflix, The Circle? The Circle. It's like you have to be a part of our group, our circle, to be a part of everything we're doing on Virgin. It's easy, we are not. We don't have a higher rate, we have a better option, so it makes no sense not to book with us, but we have to make that clear. Anyone that books outside of our group, outside of us, will not be a part of group activities or excursions. That's part of the reason why we don't share those things here online. And our rates will go away on May 4th. Yes. You have until May 4th. Let's so just say the end of this month. Because I don't want anyone to get April. on 4th and be like, I need it now. No, that's very true. <laughs> if, you, if you come to us on May 4th, there's a good chance you're not yeah, going to get it. Yeah, may the 4th be with you because you're not getting group rates. <laughs> <laughs> um, let's see. Andrea said, made my reservation a few years ago on Icon going November twenty, going in November for 25th anniversary. You will have oh, a amazing. phenomenal time, Andrea. Yes. You'll have a great time. Fantastic. Cats. Oh, Q's Cruisers is here. Hey, hey Q's. Hope that you're both doing well. I think they have a cruise. I was gonna say, I'm pretty sure you're getting on a cruise if you're not right now. You might be getting on a cruise today or tomorrow. I don't know, but I, I think it's you're soon, getting on a cruise very soon. Um, Enjoy your cruise. Cass is excited for Utopia. Three days at Disney, four days on Utopia will be my favorite week. That sounds amazing. <laughs> Jennifer says, have you done Jubilee yet? Taking our first ever cruise on her in September. We have not, but we did Celebration as well as Mardi Gras. And we know from the deck plans that Jubilee is very, very similar. We can tell that you're gonna have a great time. Uh, those ships are large beasts of ships, not yes, a bunch of iconicities. There's so much to do. Just make sure you get to shows early. That's number one. Be patient for dining. Go and get your buzzer and go enjoy a drink or something. I think those are some of the main tips we would always recommend. Andrea says, counting down the days to my Allure weekend. Wish I could go on a group cruise, but have so many plans and not enough time off. We totally get it. Andrea, I hope you have an amazing time on Allure. I know that you will. 
Allura is a phenomenal chef. Yes. And you're gonna get to see Mamma Mia. Here I go again. Okay, well, one of us is an Alba fan and the other one is not, apparently. I was confused. I was like, we're gonna see Mamma Mia. <laughs> and then I was like, oh, we are going again because we've already seen her. That yeah, show we've seen. <laughs> I just didn't, I was like, where's the connection? Andrea is taking her family on a lure yes, that at is the, the end of May, and they're going to get to see yes, Mama, Mama Mia, Mia, which is amazing. Sorry. Here we're, we go again. We're struggling. Also, but, I was like, I can't hit those notes right now. Five hours in the car today doesn't do us any good. <laughs> it makes us both very tired. Oh, it's great. Thank you so much. Almost 150 thumbs up. Let us Thank know you if you're 150. Um, let's see here. Epic Games says, while you will beat me trying, you will May the be Fourth. typing something similar yes. about May the 4th. That's why I yeah. giggled earlier because I saw that come in. I was like, whoop, whoop. Um, oh, Q says, Jordan and Jared reborn one week from today. Ah, okay, I got the weekends confused. I saw is. on Facebook that you were getting on one very soon. So I hope you have, an am you have an amazing time. And look at that. Who was number 150? Q's Cruisers was 150. Amazing. Thank you so much, Q's. We love Q's Cruisers so yes. much. <laughs> um, Chevy and First says, hey, y'all, I'm counting down for my eight day cruise on the Carnival Spirit in December. Ooh, cruise countdowns are the best type the of countdowns. Best. Something that Jared did when we met that I really loved is we would always have to have a trip planned after we took one. Yes. So even if the trip was a year away, we had, we had to have it planned so that we had something to look forward to. And even if it was a small one. Even if, even if it was a weekend yes. away or a small one, Jared would put the background of the desktop yes. background, like wallpaper, of the destination that we were going to. On the work. laptop or, yeah. Anything so every like day that you would computer. go to work and you would see yeah. where that destination would be that he would be looking forward to. I love that he did oh, that. It's a number one recommendation for those that just miss cruising every day. Put yes. your next cruise ship, put the next destination you're going to. Make sure that you have something to look forward to every day and know why you're going to work every day. <laughs> Q says we're doing our first back-to-back -back on the Vista. Very excited. First time in Havana, too. Ooh. We've never stayed in Havana. And no. on the Vista class, that's where, you should, that's where you're doing it right. Yes. Um, yes. The, the Havana area on those ships looks so awesome. Yes. John says I'm like Jared when it coming to planning ahead. Yeah. I mean, I was just telling Jordan earlier, like, we are very two different people, right? We are very similar, but we're also very different. One of the areas that I'm super different is I love planning ahead. That's like a thing that I like, I don't know, it gets me going, I love it. And I he love. loves not doing it. <laughs> he loves being able to maybe like look ahead and see like a great vacation like I put on well, the okay, laptop. Let, let's say, let, I love spontaneity. Yes. I love surprise. Yes. I love kind of being taken like uh, taken by surprise yeah like I love like being able to have like a wonderful thing pop up and not have it planned and it just end up being the best day ever when I didn't think anything special was gonna happen that day yeah I'll be like I'll wake up and like hey did you know it's Friday he's like what okay that's not what that means <laughs> it means we've had we've had and we've had both we've had days where we've gone out specifically in Europe and we've had no plans and it's been a really bad day yeah then though, we have had days have been where we have gone out yeah. and we've been surprised by something that we did that was yes. not in the plans and it was like the best day ever. Absolutely. I love those days. Jared does not think that those days are possible often. <laughs> I, I mean, I just like to make sure. Are you on data or are you on your... I am on the Wi-Fi. Okay, the wi -Fi. perfect. Um, Palmer's on holiday. Hello, we are hello. Out. We are out to see. Palmer's on holiday. Today. Hey guys, counting down to the Carnival Splendor from Sydney. Someone else up very, uh, up very early right now. It's what, closer yes. to 7 a.m. now? Super early over on that side of the world. Um, John says I have to have that carrot dangling. Epic Games TV says 380 days seems like forever, but we are still excited. That's right. You got something to look forward to. You got yep. something planned. You're doing it right. Um, Jason said 448 days for Alaska cruise on Princess. That's an epic countdown. Because that is. Alaska is phenomenal. Phenomenal. Um, I have one here. Uh, Chevy first said uh, two ports are Key West and Freeport. Any suggestions? I've never been there. Key West, we love to say do your own pie, uh, key lime pie crawl. Or bar crawl. Or bar crawl if you want to, like there's a good key lime, uh, we found the key lime mojito and the key lime martini to be really good at the one bar we just went to uh, on our group cruise. You can also do really good easy research to find some of the best key lime pie shops. Uh, we recommend sharing. 
Jerry's yes. carrying because it gets to be a lot of sugar right away. We've done it three times now, and each time we wish we did less and less of each pie so we can fully savor each moment. That is true. Uh, but that's a, a wonderful thing to do. Obviously, you can go take a picture at the southernmost point. That is the most southern place in the United States. Uh, so if you in the continental United States, so you can go and get a picture at that place. Just know there'll be a line there waiting for you probably to take that picture. This is a good point. John says Key West is an easy port to do without a plan. Absolutely. That is very true. You really, you can get off the ship. Yeah, shopping, You can find everything. so much. Shopping, food, oh, key lime pie. Um, you will love it. Freeport, we've actually never been to. We have been in ports at Freeport. Things come into Freeport eventually. So if it's later enough that a new option will be available if you're going on Royal, right? Is that where it is for Freeport? I don't think that that is necessarily confirmed, but oh. Freeport is getting built up by the cruise lines. Yes. That's what we hear. <laughs> that is that is what we hear. That is like a- Oh, George Sloss is in the house. Hi, Hi George. Hello. Hello, George and Abby. It's good to see y'all in here. here. Key West Butterfly House. Yes, that is another one that is, uh, Absolutely. It's something definitely a good a good thing to do. A lot of people do the Hemingway House. Uh, a lot of people did it for the cats. Um, I didn't hear back. Yes, from the, the cats course. are still there. They are still there. Okay. Oh, oh. we have an announcement. I'm going to get out to the ladies and gentlemen. This is not the focus for the following day. Oh. Some people didn't do their mustard in time. Uh-oh. That's what I'm guessing. All right. What else? Uh... All right. So I have when you're ready to make the deposit. Why? Because once we send the link your way, you will pay it through the email from Virgin Voyages within 24 hours or else the link expires. So it's just good to know. You can look at all the information in that link. You don't have to fill it out and submit it. But if you want to go look it up, we're going on Valiant Lady for Virgin Voyages in October of 2025. For Over a, Halloween. A Halloween group cruise on Valiant Lady, our first Virgin group cruise. It's four nights going to Key West out of Miami, as well as Bimini Beach Club. It's going to be fantastic. We cannot wait for it. It's going to be that perfect weather, too. It is. It's going to be... We're, it's gonna be awesome. We're so excited about this. We're so excited to do a Halloween cruise. Yes. Halloween is one of our favorite places, and we are so excited. How is living on a ship? We're not living How is on the a move ship yet. To living on a ship. We're not there yet, but we have another video dropping tomorrow yes. about that. So again, if you're interested in our move onto a cruise ship, check out that uh, that video tomorrow. We're getting excited for it. I mean, I know that today is so much about the group cruise, but I cannot negate the fact that we are both stoked for living on. A cruise ship. We are so like it's coming in June. So excited! It it's coming April. in June. It's coming in like, yeah, in less than two months. We're gonna be there. It's wild to me. Um, I'm gonna angle it down just a little bit because we're getting backlit by sun, and I don't want you to get I was a say, solar eclipse in your eye. We you do. I mean? Are there issues getting from ta uh, Tampa to Miami? It just takes. With it being spring break season, it took a lot longer than we had planned. Today was easier than last week, because we did this drive both times. Yes. Last week, it was very stressful. We made it with about 20 minutes before the gangway closed. Today, we made it here an hour before, yep. so today was much better. Much better. But we it's not something, Jared looked at me halfway through our drive today, and he said, we will never do this again. So unless it's for extraordinary circumstances, right. we will not drive coast to coast like this well, again. Well, here's the other thing. Every once in a while, you'll get a ship that will say, you know what, we're leaving at two. And if that happened to us today, we would have we not made, made it. it. We would have we made, made it barely by a minute. Yeah. It would have been us running and be like, wait for us. And you don't want to be that. You don't yeah. want to have that stress on you because all it takes is one extra minute for a traffic jam or some kind of crash on the interstate. So we recommend giving yourself an extra day, just like with flying, never yes. fly in the same day if you do you already should have travel insurance because, oh my gosh, you're you're risking it. But it's definitely something we wouldn't recommend. So, we need to go get ready for dinner. I know, we have dinner. We have in, early dinner. And literally like 25, no wait, a little bit more than 40. that. Is in the description of this video. So if you wanna come with, on with the value with us, you can find that information in the description of yes. this video. I will put it in the chat one more time for anyone that can't. 
One second. He's going to grab that really quick. Question. But, um, you know, we've shared all of the information. We would love for as many people to come as possible. We've got so we've got some rooms left. We opened it up to our Patreon as well as people from uh, another group cruise first. We do still have rooms left. We've got solo rooms left. So we would love for you to come on. You can click that link to register. Once you, once you register, we will then book you a room and then you'll have 24 hours to pay that deposit. Um, am I missing anything? I, you already said that's a non-refundable deposit. Yep. It's 20% of your room. So obviously if you're a solo insider, it's gonna be way less than if you were a central sea terrace, but that makes sense, right? You're a solo versus double occupancy in a higher category room. Non-refundable is the key here. However, it is transferable. So if something happens before final payment and you need to change the ship and sale date, Virgin's good at that. You yes. can actually do that. You just can't get it refunded to your credit card. Just know that. You can add voyage protection later. That is not a focus right now. Just fill out the form completely. All guest information. We're so excited. We already have, I think it's like 20 rooms or something like that. Like it's, it's, we have around 20 rooms booked it's, currently. It's yeah. already just growing and we only have so many rooms available. So once space is gone, if there's more room on the ship, we'll get more rooms, but it'll be at new rates most likely additional cost because the rates always go up the more the ship sells out, right? Yep. So make sure you get in there, especially if you want a solo insider room, those are going super quickly. Uh, but we cannot wait to see you all on Valiant Lady. Yes, I saw Jane Warren pop in here. Hi, Jane. Hey, Jane. It's so good to see you. Um, all right, we're gonna go get ready for dinner. Thank you again for everyone for joining us. Make sure you follow us on Instagram this week. We're gonna be posting stuff for our dinners. What we're finding on Independence of the Seas, all the fun. Jordan already posted. We didn't even talk about the chicken tenders. Oh, you gotta so go to good. you gotta go to, yes. to Instagram to at find Cruise out about with that. JJ. Yeah. At Cruise with JJ on Instagram, follow us and then hit our faces. Just tap our faces. That's where our stories live. It's like our daily vlog. So if you want to follow along with us every day, just tap our faces on Insta and follow us there. Facebook is the other one. JJ Cruise FB. F is in face. B is in book. Follow us there. We do a Where Are We Wednesday every Wednesday. And you can guess where we are in the world in that picture. All right, we love you all. Thank you so much for joining us. Thanks for being excited with us about Virgin. We're stoked. And we will see you all very soon. See Bye. Ya.